What is going on guys, Neo here, bringing you another TF2 live commentary. This time we are going to be using the loose cannon. Yes, I actually got the the loose cannon. Uh, one of my good friends, I believe you pronounce his name Seun L001 or something like that. I apologize, I don't really know how to pronounce your name dude. But he gave me the loose cannon on one condition. And that one condition was that I make a video about it. And so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, we are going to be playing some King of the Hill. And uh, I will get back to you when I get into the game. Alright, looks like we are playing some King of the Hill on Nucleus. A pretty fun map. And yeah, so the loose cannon is a really... I just got sniped. It is a really, really interesting weapon. Because uh, it's like... <clears throat> the way I describe it is I describe it as a mix between the lock and load and then the default grenade launcher. How is that not a spy? But, um, I say that it is a mix between those two weapons because it's kind of like the lock and load in the fact that uh, you want to directly hit people with it, but then, uh, it's kind of like the, uh, default grenade launcher in the fact that it, the, uh, shots do not explode on impact. So, like, for example, it doesn't explode, like the lock and load it would, but, uh, it doesn't with this weapon. So that should have hit. Um, I just want to give a forewarning. I am not very good with this weapon by any means. And as that was probably evidence enough. But uh, yeah, it's a really fun weapon to use anyway, even though I suck with it. Um, but basically, it shoots cannons. Obviously, it is a the it is called the loose cannon. So, so it shoots. So it shoots cannonballs. Wow, I just stumbled my way through that sentence. And what they do is, on direct impact, the cannonballs will actually knock the players back. So it is really fun, and this server is one of those ones where it has like the sound effects. And uh, yeah, I guess that's okay. Not too annoying, I guess. But uh, on hit, it'll knock players back like it knocked that pyro back. It kind of knocked him in the air. Um, and what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to see if I can knock someone into the abyss below. Now, you obviously want to try and just hit people directly, as I did there. Oh man, crits do a lot of damage with this thing when you directly hit them. Because, when, why did I think that sniper just went away? I should have just, I don't know what I was doing there. Um, but, when the cannonball hits a wall, or hits anything, it will do 50% less damage. It'll still explode, but it'll do 50% less damage, and so it really won't do a whole lot of damage when it just like explodes like for example if I shoot the wall and then it explodes and hits like a someone it hits someone in that radius it won't do like almost any damage it'll do a little bit but not enough to make a huge dent so what you want to do as I'm getting sniped is you want to directly hit people now what you really really want to do is if you are good with this weapon which I am not you actually want to charge the shot like I'm doing right now and I just got owned. You want to charge up the shot the perfect amount. So the cannonballs have a two second fuse timer. So that means if you just fire it regularly, the cannonball will fly in the air for two seconds and then it will blow up. So you want to charge up the shot just long enough to where it hits the person directly, deals damage to them directly, and then, and that was just exactly what you don't want to do, um, if, which I wasn't paying attention. But if you hold up the shot for too long, it'll do the thing that the, beg that the uh, Beggar's Bazooka does, where it'll actually deal damage to yourself. Um, so that is something that you do not want to do. But um, you want to try and charge with the shot long enough, so where like you hit someone, it deals damage to them from hitting it directly, and then it'll blow up and you do even more damage. And that is really your goal. Um, but I am not good enough to try and do that, so I'm just going to work on trying to directly hit people and knock them back. Now the loose cannon, uh, even though I just did it right there, is not- I have two health. God dang it! It is not very good for taking out sentry buildings. Or NG's buildings. Sentry nests, whatever, sentries, dispensers, teleporters, all those kind of things. So that is why that that is why I have the sticky bomb launcher as my backup, and then I have the Scottish handshake just because I like it. But uh, that is why I have the sticky bomb launcher as my backup. I've seen a lot of people who use, oh dang it, 
who you uh, who demo night when they use the loose cannon. They use like the charge and charge, and then they use like the islander, for example. And I mean that is a pretty good setup that can be very useful. Except I am not confident in my abilities to like use a loose cannon and just kill specifically with that. So that is why I don't really like to do that. Uh, that is why also on top of that and because of the fact that the loose cannon is not very good at taking out Angie's nest, that is why I use sticky bomb launcher as well. And the sticky bomb launcher, as everybody knows, is just way too good. Are you serious? He, he what? That sucks. He got a headshot on me, I'm pretty sure. That is lucky. I also apologize if you hear the fan in the background. It is another really, really hot day. And uh, so I have it on because I am hot. And how did that guy hit me from that range? I will never know. And that was stupid. And a bunch of stuff is stupid. And now we are getting spawn trapped. We need to break through and then capture the objective. So, oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, it does actually have a really big knock, uh, knockback effect. Oh, yeah, I already did uh, actually did actually mention I did actually actually mention that. Is that what I just said? I did mention that. Um, but that is a really, really fun feature of this weapon. And I, already, I know that I mentioned that because I mentioned that I wanted to try and knock someone into the abyss down below. But, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be able to happen this game. I am 3 and 7. As I said before, I am not very good with this weapon. I apologize for anyone who is looking for some stellar gameplay, but that is not going to be in this video. If you guys want to see more gameplay with this and more like, you know, where I play with it and practice it with more, with uh, this weapon more, then uh, be sure to leave a comment down below. I will definitely be using this gun for a while because I think it's really, really fun and interesting to use. But, uh, I guess I just haven't had enough time to practice so far. And we lost the first round. I will play like one more. Um, I didn't do too bad. I did score 14 points and I top scored. But uh, still, it did not do very well. I also have some water here, which is what I was drinking. 4 and 8, yeah, not very good. But here we go. Let's go again. Hopefully this round can be a little bit better. Um, and I'm trying to think if I forgot to mention anything. I need to take out that Engie's nest, and I will go do that right now. So you know, it's kind of funny because, uh, as most of you know, I am on summer vacation, and it's funny because, you know, during the school year, you would like wish for the weekends, and you would really look forward to the weekends because uh, it would just be a break from school. Well, now that you're on summer vacation, or at least this is what I feel, and that was terrible aim. What? Are you serious? Oh, and look how much health he, he died. Wow, I am so bad. That is embarrassing. But uh, as I was saying, on summer vacation, it's kind of the opposite, where I don't really look forward to the weekends because on the weekends, you know, my parents are home all day. And that's not what you're thinking. It's not that I don't hate my parents. It's just the fact that during the summer and when, when your parents are home and they know that you have nothing else to do, are you serious? They make you do work outside, which is what I've been doing these past two days. Today is Sunday, uh, June 10th or 9th? 9th. And uh, so I have been doing yard work and work in the garage and stuff these past two days. And it's really annoying because uh, what used to be a day of relaxation is now a day of work, which stinks. But uh, also this summer, I am probably going to be getting a job, and I really wish that hit, and I am doing so bad. I really wish that uh, that crit hit, because I wanted to show you guys how much damage the crit does, because it does a lot of damage. Hit him into the abyss. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I did it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is what I wanted to do, and I did it. And yes, I killed that guy too. So, oh, also, what I wanted to mention is the loose cannon, it does, uh, not only does it share that effect with the beggar's bazooka, but it also shares the same effect as the crusader's crossbow, in the fact that the more uh, distance, or the farther the distance that the cannon travels, or the cannonball travels, rather, before it hits somebody, the more damage it does, which is just like the crusader's crossbow. Now, you have to keep in mind, though, that it does only have a two-second fuse time, 
So you can't, you're not going to be shooting it like across the map, but um, when you're really close to someone like that, it won't do as much damage as if he was farther away and I hit him directly. So you have to keep that in mind as well. But anyway, moving on. Uh, as stated previously, the loose cannon is a really, really fun weapon to use. And I should know that there's a sniper there because he's killed me for like three freaking times. Not four three times, but three times he's killed me. And wow, we are getting owned. <sighs> now, uh, another thing about this weapon is you're not going to be getting like a bunch of multi-kills with it. Like the default grenade launcher. Because it doesn't have that big of a splash, uh, doesn't have that much splash damage, but, um, but that doesn't mean that it's not effective, and we are getting cornered, and I don't really, I'm trying to concentrate on the game, but uh, it's not really working out too well. Sorry, I'm quiet, but I'm, you know, trying to concentrate. As you can see, that guy went flying into the wall. And hopefully that guy doesn't pop. Oh, he's got crits. Never mind. Okay, thank God he didn't pop that because we would have been screwed. So hopefully we can make this push. And, yeah, I don't know. Sorry I'm being so silent. But there we go. Finally got another kill. I haven't gotten a kill for a while. That guy, fall off, please. Hit somebody. Are you serious? Okay, I guess we're just going to go forward. Row rush with the uh, quick fix. Please pop it. Thank you. And I'm just going to use the sticky bomb launcher because I have more confidence in my sticky bomb launcher ability than my loose cannon ability. Even though I didn't get any kills, I did uh, push them back into their spawn. So that's good, I guess. I am looking for a crit. And is that a spy? Nope. Okay, I got the medic, that's all that matters. And, uh, hold on one second and I will switch back to the loose cannon. Don't fall off, okay? Oh, Jesus. It is actually really, really effective when handling, uh, when handling those guys. And, oh, are you serious? He almost died when handling, uh, people who use the, uh, splendid screen of the charge and charge. And when they charge at you, because when you hit them with the, uh, loose cannon, as mentioned before, it will knock them back and they will no longer be charging towards you. <coughs> uh, and this is actually not the first time that I'm doing this commentary, so my voice is kind of rough, so I apologize for that. Oh my god, are you serious? God dang it. I am so bad when dealing with scouts when I am the demo. Alright, and also the NBA Finals are actually on right now. And uh, <clears throat> if you guys don't know, I am from Cleveland, and uh, so I pretty much hate LeBron. So that is why I am rooting for the Spurs in this NBA Finals. And I'm pretty sure a lot of... Oh my god, are you serious? And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are rooting for the Spurs. Not too many people like the Miami Heat, which is pretty funny, because I do not like the Miami Heat at all. There we go. Come on. Oh, man. I thought I was going to get that freaking... Wait, I thought I was red. Is that guy red? Or was he on the... What? I thought that demo man was on the red team. At least from the way that that, like, screenshot went. Or not screenshot, but, like, zoomed in on him. And I thought he looked red. But I guess that might have been just the fire. Okay, so this is actually a pretty close game. A lot closer than the first one. And hopefully when we cap this, I think we'll just win. So that's good. And yep, I think we got it. So thanks for watching this gameplay, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was not... Oh, I guess I spoke too soon. Got him, yeah! So, um... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. It was not the best. But, um... Yeah, I haven't really had that much time to use this weapon. But as I said before, I just wanted to get a gameplay out. Because that is what Siyun... Requested so uh, I'm gonna end it off here guys if you want to see more loose cannon gameplay or more tf2 gameplay in general Be sure to leave a like and a comment and if you are new uh, Be sure to subscribe for more tf2 gameplay and also some SimCity gameplay. So um, Yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it off here guys. Thanks for watching
Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Alright, kill him! Bye.